So being pregnant with a growing belly, there are certain things that you know that's gonna happen. I'm in my third trimester right now. I'm so lucky. I'm here with Chriselle Lim. Go to her channel, it's amazing. It's all things lifestyle, fashion, beauty. I mean, literally, like, I'm addicted to all your stuff. It's so good. She and I are gonna be discussing 10 things that no one, I mean, no one tells you about being pregnant. So my first thing, and Chriselle has her list, my very first thing is that when you sneeze, you pee. <laughs> And when you cough, it hurts. I remember the first time I was pregnant and I literally like, I was sneezing. I'm like, oh, oh my God, I, I'm dripping. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally dripping. And then towards the end of your pregnancy, when you cough, you, like, you get this thing called round ligament pain. And mm -hmm. I think for the pregnant girls out there, they all know what I mean. But literally like you cough and it's like, Ugh! it's like, you've like pulled something or your baby's like twitching inside of you. I actually experienced that and no one told me about that either. And although they said that you don't have your period anymore during your pregnancy, I still wore a pad slash panty liner I all know. throughout my pregnancy. I've done the panty liner. I've done it on this pregnancy and it sounds so awful and too much TMI, but I'm telling you, every now and then you need a panty liner. Okay, so number two, Chriselle. Okay, so I have the biggest sweet tooth <laughs> in the world, but when I was pregnant, I couldn't even look at the side of sweets. Like it made me sick looking at sweets. It was so strange. I am the exact opposite. I'm not a foodie. There can be chocolate, there can be brownie, there can be cakes. I don't, I don't know, it just, I don't really need it. Mm -hmm. This pregnancy, I like think about sweets. I think about cake, <laughs> I think about sugar. I had a hot chocolate last night again before I went to bed. I guess you start craving things that you usually don't crave. I know. We could just have some cake. Yeah. Okay, so number three, no one tells you during pregnancy. It happened to me a few weeks ago. I'm on an incline in Los Angeles. I'm in Beverly Hills and I literally could not get out of the car. I was like this, and the door kept slamming and I couldn't get, I'm like, I couldn't get like enough like momentum. I'm like, if someone were to hear me or see me right now, they would think like I'm choking or something. Like I made these grunt, like these sounds that were like, I'm like, <gasps> and I was like, I could not get out of the car. Life is a struggle at it's the end. It's a struggle. It really it, is. It really is. <laughs> Number four, okay, speaking of getting out of bed, there have been multiple times during my pregnancy, I would wake up in the middle of the night with these horrible leg cramps. I would be screaming just because I couldn't, I just can't move. And also my feet would go numb quite easily. A lot of times as well, I get leg cramps because I'm basically dehydrated. dehydrated. Me too. Maybe we're the only ones that get leg cramps because we yeah. don't drink enough water. So maybe that's not part of the 10 things, <laughs> but if you do like leg like cramps and you don't drink water, that's probably why. Yeah. Okay, so number five. Um, I was recently doing an appearance in New York and I was in a really pretty monochromatic look. I thought I looked great. I finished a very long interview. I got up, they're like, oh, can we take a few pictures? I'm like, sure, no problem. I get up and the photographer is like, I'm so sorry, but um, you are sweating <laughs> below your bump. I'm like, excuse me? I literally had bump sweat. No one told me that your bump would sweat. I didn't even know that you had sweat glands down there. I did not know either. I did not know that either. <laughs> Number six, okay, this is not pretty, <laughs> but I was constipated all throughout my pregnancy. Like I had major bathroom trauma. Like it was just not <laughs> sexy. <laughs> but tell them why. Like it's nor, it is sort of normal. Yeah. Like your digestive system when you're pregnant really slows down. Prunes, they might yeah. become your best. I actually took a lot of prunes, but I was still constipated. <laughs> okay, number seven. I was brushing my teeth early on. I, I, I went to, to spit in the sink and I'm like, oh, oh my God, there's blood. And I'm like, there was a, like I kept brushing, I'm like there's a lot of blood. I'm like, at first I was like, oh my God, I've like, I cut a gum. Well, soon did I realize that as you are get farther along in pregnancy, your blood volume increases, which makes your gums bleed. Mine bled <laughs> and I had no idea what was going on. I thought I was just like, just digging my toothbrush in too I hard. Know. But mine wasn't as intense as yours. Okay, so number eight. Okay, so for me, I don't know if this happened to you, but my feet got so big. I usually wear a size seven. I was ordering a size nine and a size 10. I was 
I am a size like 10 and a half, 11. I borrowed my assistant who was literally like a 12, 12 and a half. <laughs> I look like I had elephantitis of the feet. I have to show you guys a picture. Oh, please, oh, please. So, this is your butt, right? This is my foot. Oh my. <gasps> Oh, there's like a, almost like a six toe right there. That looks like um, yeah. my little daughter's hand because she has like <laughs> such chubby hands right now. I know, so the scarlet, she's got the little, like the little, little dimples. Yeah. Okay, so number nine. I always have a stuffy nose. Apparently during pregnancy, there's more mucus buildup and I had it during my first pregnancy, my second pregnancy, and now this pregnancy. I always sound stuffed up. It's so dry and mucusy that you always have a cold and sometimes when you sneeze there's blood. See? You did not know that. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? I didn't have that. See, I had that. Yeah. The whole, all three pregnancies. Yeah. Okay, so number 10. This is where Chrisel and I totally agree on. You know that pregnancy glow that everyone talks about that they, they totally have? We did not have that. You know what's funny? I thought I had the glow. <laughs> I thought I did because the first few months, everyone's like, your skin's so amazing. Like, so I, I have to say that maybe the first two, right. three months, something was going on and I looked like I had good skin. But right after, when I hit the second trimester, I broke out like I've like a teenager. Well, they say the girls steal your beauty. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I just think it just wasn't there in the beginning of the pregnancy. I don't know how they could steal it. Where did that pregnancy glow come from? I don't though? know. Everyone talks about I don't the know. glow. I don't know. Maybe some women, not us. Not us. Yeah. There you, you look go. Amazing right Number now. ten. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying. Number ten. You're not gonna have the pregnancy glow. Okay. <laughs> Those are the things that no one will tell you while you're pregnant. So, but honestly, it's the best thing. Great. It's great. <laughs> Chriselle, tell them where they can find you. So you can find me on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Chriselle Lim. I'm sure we'll link it somewhere. <laughs> um, but thanks so much for having me. You're on so your great. Channel. Honestly, go to her channel, go to her blog. It's so fun. She visits her grandmother in Korea and, and wears the best of fashion and makeup and tutorials. You've just, you've You're got so it down. Sweet. It's good though. Thank I love you. it. So don't worry about us. Go get pregnant. It's great. It's great. We love it.